The People's Action Movement, PAM, is promising to create thousands of jobs through its Jobs Now plan if elected to form the next government. In an election address on Tuesday night, leader of the People's Action Movement, Sean Richards, said a PAM CCM government would look to engage a slew of public infrastructure construction projects to boost construction jobs, while also investing $100 million in creating new businesses, which also, by extension, will create additional jobs. Our Jobs Now program is intended to alleviate acute youth unemployment and will see us making the single largest investment in public infrastructure, which will, in the immediate, see work in the construction industry, addressing the Federation's most urgent infrastructure build and repair needs in facilities, such as a new hospital and school, and repairing existing facilities improving parks and playing fields, fixing roads, and building houses. This will generate approximately 2,900 jobs. We will invest 100 million in the Dream Fund to create new businesses and build a new generation of entrepreneurs, all of whom are required to hire employees. This program will generate 2,200 jobs. He reiterated promises to write off electricity bills debt of poor income households while also providing assistance of $100 towards those bills and improve the standard of living for the elderly through national health insurance. Mr. Richards also spoke about plans to increase the country's housing stock. For the broader social sectors, we have outlined our program to provide grants for home ownership to first-time homeowners under 35 years old as well as to provide soft fiscal resources for those wishing to engage in house repair, improvement, and development. We will also embark on building 1,000 houses in five years for low income and vulnerable individuals and families. On the issue of energy and the escalating price of this very vital commodity, immediate emergency relief will be delivered to the vulnerable population. Our plan for energy relief is inclusive, digital, green, and sustainable. It is unacceptable in this modern era to allow any form of energy poverty to take root among our citizens. General election will be on Friday, August 5th. I'm Andre Huey for SKN Newsline.